I'm old enough to remember World War One, before it and after it. I'm old enough to remember that that majestic catastrophe ended at 11 o'clock in the morning on the 11th day of the 11th month, 11 months from the signing of the armistice with Turkey, and 11 months from the time that Alan entered into Jerusalem. Do you think that God was trying to tell the human race in 1938 that we were entering into the last hour of human destiny? A sequence of 5-11s again. The war terminated at 11 o'clock in the morning on the 11th day of the 11th month, 11 months from the signing of the armistice with Turkey, 11 months from when, uh, when Allenby entered into Jerusalem. People say to me often, as I guess they do to other men, well, 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 do you think we're living in the last days? And I say, definitely not. We're not living in the last days. Well, our pastor says we are. You better give him a nudge. You've been asleep a long while. And I've got news for you teenagers, you better live very near to God because there are days just up the road and I expect to see them anyhow that are going to be the most terrible days in history. Because you don't legalize abortion, you don't take living babies out of living women. And what do they do with the living babies? Mind your own business, the government said. If somebody buys them for dog meat, do you wonder your dog licks his lips? You say men wouldn't be as bad as that. If they'll take living babies out of living women, they're bad enough to do anything. And we're a Christian country, we're not a communist country, and we've legalized abortion. Nevada has legalized prostitution. Some of the filthiest films ever shown are being shown now. We've reached an all-time law in morality or immorality. And you don't break law, God's laws. God watches the divorce courts of America and England every day and marriages are broken and kids are tossed around. I think there's about 20 million battered between fathers and mothers that are restless. What do you expect to inherit in the next generation? Sodom and Gomorrah, England and America, for they're the modern Sodom and Gomorrah. Those kids may be going to hell, what do they care? They laugh at the preacher, talk, nudge each other. I'll tell you one thing, going around the country, world, you never find heathen children that are rude. They may not be educated like you are, some could hardly say they're ABCs, but they sit open mouths when you tell them the gospel. It runs in, in your ears and out of the, some of you kids, and you'll land in hell unless you repent anyhow. You train your children. I made up my mind years ago, asked my sweetheart, that if my boys did not follow the Lord, I would not preach until they did. I'm not going to rescue your kids from hell if mine are going. I'm not going to tell you how to train your family if my children are prodigals and rebels. They're all on distant mission fields tonight, the three of them, thank God. If you knew the things that are threatening our age beyond just the political and economic things. If you knew what demon power is going to break over America, if you knew what's been designed by communism and otherisms, I tell you again, we, 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 we'd hardly sleep. If you knew some of the schemes to rot and destroy the youth of America tonight, you wouldn't sleep for the next four nights and you'd take all the barbiturates you like. they never have effect on you. If you knew the coming of hell to destroy our generation, we'd be scared. Evil men are waxing worse and worse. What about women? Oh, brother. They've been getting worse ever since Adam's rib to women's lib. <coughs> Put that in your notebook. Right. <coughs> oh, yes, they're getting worse. The situation is getting worse and worse. There are some frightening days ahead of us. Economically, socially, religiously, morally, everything that can be shaken will be shaken, but the kingdom that cannot be shaken will remain. That this is not only a lost generation, it is lost. L-O-S-T, lost. But I'm equally sure it's not only a lost generation, I'm convinced it's the last generation before Jesus comes. God has kept his anger back, but when that dam bursts, there's nothing beautiful than a lamb. There's nothing more angry. Pro rata, a lion can't get as angry as a lamb. 
And the word of God speaks about the wrath of the Lamb. The first time he came to misery, the next time he's coming to majesty. The first time he came as a lamb, he was led as a lamb, but not next time. The next time he's not coming as a lamb, he's coming as the lion of the tribe of Judah. That, that ark was a type of the millennium, the lion laid down with the lamb, they didn't eat each other. Because I'm convinced tonight, with all the power of my being, should I die five minutes from when I finish preaching, I'd answer to God with a clear conscience that I believe the greatest threat to America tonight is God. I remind you, he divorced the Jews, he's left them alone for 2,000 years, five times in the history of the world have almost been annihilated. And God has let them be kicked around like a football. They've been imprisoned and ostracized and penalized and victimized. And God looks on and doesn't bother. You see, one day they took the Son of, the, of God to the cross, and as he went there, he said, please, just let me say one thing to you. You're not stealing my life. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it up. And I want to tell you something. You're not rejecting me. I'm rejecting you. Your house is left unto you desolate. 2,000 years, God hasn't bothered with the Jews. They may hold the money bags of the world. They may control the movie industry. They control banks. They control most of TV and whatever you got. But as regards the blessing of God, he's totally ignored them. We have no gas. At the end of the street there, they say, I saw a gas station. No gas, the big sign. But when you call me the worst, and when you've counted the last bomb that Russia has, and the last bullet, and the last menace, and if you like, you can steal and cheat on the secret plans they have for destroying America. And when you've said it all, I'll tell you there's one thing worse than the whole accumulated threat to America tonight, in my judgment. And that is a thick church. in a dying world.